Right now, plenty of people already on the road for Thanksgiving. This morning at TF Green Airport, more than 100 flights were scheduled to depart and arrive. Some are now delayed. AAA estimates more than 4.5 million people will fly to their Thanksgiving destination, despite higher ticker, ticket prices. But the majority of Americans are expected to drive to get to their holiday festivities this week. Rhode Island officials are sending out the alert to drive sober and safely this week, saying safety is a team sport. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us live at Bryant University in Smithfield as student athletes are joining in on the message. Well, Kate, the message this Thanksgiving is to drive safe and sober. In recent years, three people have died in crashes on Rhode Island highways this holiday. The mission this year is zero deaths. Police chiefs from across the state joined the Rhode Island Interscholastic League and the Department of Transportation at Bryant University this morning for the Traffic Safety is a Team Sport initiative, encouraging drivers to be safe on the roads this Thanksgiving when traveling to and from high school football games, family celebrations, and during Black Friday shopping. Here are some startling stats shared by police today. In 2020, more than 300 people were killed in crashes nationwide during Thanksgiving. And here in Rhode Island, two people were killed on the holiday in 2017 and one last year. To date this year in Rhode Island, 45 people have died in crashes on our state highways. And while state leaders say the numbers are improving, even one death is too many. As bad as that is, it's better than uh, last year and some of the previous year where we averaged about 56 fatalities uh, by Thanksgiving. That's good news, but it certainly could be better. That's still 45 souls too many. Members of law enforcement are patrolling our highways to provide accountability to those who endanger others. It takes all of us to spread the message and do our jobs to keep our roadways safe. Now, police will be out in full force starting on Wednesday, running through the holiday weekend to Sunday. Uh, there will be sobriety checkpoints across the state and upped patrols looking for impaired drivers. Live in Smithfield, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.